Artemis 1 just splashed down in the Pacific Ocean, concluding the first step to getting humans back to the moon and beyond. But today, we'll be giving an overview of what's next with Artemis 2. First, let's briefly talk about what Artemis 1 accomplished during its 25-day mission. So real quick, what was Artemis 1? On November 16th, 2022, the SLS Space Launch System launched the Orion spacecraft right into orbit to complete two unmanned lunar flybys. The mission had a couple main objectives. It was the first test of the SLS, which is currently the rocket with the highest payload capacity and liftoff thrust currently in operation. And second, NASA wanted to test the capabilities of the Orion spacecraft, both in space and in re-entry. The SLS launched with 8.8 .8 million pounds of thrust at liftoff, getting Orion into orbit eight minutes after launch. 10 CubeSats, small satellite science experiments, shot off, seven of which are still operational and gathering different types of data. And although unmanned, on board Orion were three mannequins, equipped with various sensors to test the amount of radiation future astronauts would be experiencing during their missions. One mannequin was wearing a STEMRAD radiation shield vest, collecting data that will hopefully further protect Artemis astronauts from the dark, dangerous radiated void that is space. Now, the mission went off without a hitch. Orion conducted its close lunar flyby, about 81 miles above the surface of the moon, and then maneuvered and broke the record for the furthest distance a human-grade spacecraft had ever traveled from Earth. 268,563 miles away. During Orion's travels, we got some amazing footage and photos of the moon's surface, and our favorite, this moment of the crescent Earth. Finally, possibly the most stressful and important part of the mission, re-entry, where NASA needed to test the capability of Orion's heat shield when it came rocketing back to Earth at 24,500 miles per hour which is Mach 32, by the way, with temperatures exceeding 5,000 degrees Fahrenheit. That's half the temperature of the sun. So undoubtedly, NASA wanted to make sure their heat shield worked. Orion is also the first human-capable spacecraft to perform a skip re-entry. This is a type of re-entry to achieve better landing precision and to reduce the amount of g-force exerted on the capsule. Essentially, as Orion came hurtling down towards Earth, it dipped into the atmosphere, used that atmospheric pressure to lift it back out of the atmosphere, and then glided back down for a final descent. That's Artemis 1 in a nutshell, and everything performed nearly perfectly. So what's next with Artemis 2, planned for a launch in May 2024? Artemis 2 will actually be pretty similar to the first mission, Except this time, NASA's going to pack Orion with four human astronauts instead of the dummies. Three from the US and one from Canada. NASA will be spending the next year and a half reviewing the data they collected with Artemis 1 and making any adjustments to the systems and equipment to ensure the safety of the astronauts aboard the next mission. Artemis 2 will be the first crewed mission to travel beyond Earth's low orbit since Apollo 17 in 1972, and this will be a crucial step in testing modern equipment for longer stays on the lunar surface and in orbit for future Artemis missions. This time around, the Orion spacecraft is expected to do its round-trip journey in about 10 days and will only do a single lunar flyby before coming back to Earth for the real test of skip re-entry with humans on board. So another successful mission will mean one step closer towards a permanent stay on the moon, as well as the start of deployment of the Lunar Space Station, Gateway. So what are your thoughts on putting humans on the next mission aboard Orion in 2024? How delayed do you think this one will be? Let's discuss in the comments.